everybody, it's Deb from d, &D Art Gallery. Happy Friday. I'm glad it's Friday. I have a 12 by 12, and this is a used uh, canvas that I had uh, a painting on underneath. And I did give it uh, two coats of gesso again and let that dry. And now I've put down a layer of um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and um, Bare Satin Enamel White. I'm going to be doing a dirty cut pour using enamel paint today. And uh, let's go over the rest of my paints. Most of the paints today I'm using are the Montmartre Metallics. And I have gold and copper and phalo green, magenta, purple, and phalo blue. My last color I mixed because I wanted a, a deeper blue that I didn't have in the Montmartre Metallics. I used the Grumbacher uh, Prussian Blue. And what I did is I just put in a dollop of Liquitex uh, Basics uh, Deep Green and uh, Blickrick Mars Black and just mixed that up together. I am going to be using that white also uh, in the pour. And so the pour paint, I added a little dollop of, uh, or a shake of the Jewelescent Luster White. And with that dark blue that I made up, I added a shake of the Jewelescent Pewter Gray, just to give those a little bit of shininess too. Pouring medium today is about one part Floetrol to one part paint. Um, the enamel paint, what I did is I mixed it probably two parts Floetrol, one part or half a part of the um, Artist Law Flow Acrylic White, and then another half part the bare enamel. And let me show you um, consistency here. A little bit, a little bit thicker leaves a little mound and then disappears. Okay, so I'll move the canvas out of the way because I want to fill my cup. And like I said, it's just a dirty pour. So let's get started with our paints. I will start with the white. No particular order. These paints are very nice. The Montmartre Metallics. They came in a set. Uh, let's see. I think a set of seven. The only one that I did not use is the, um, the bronze. So there were seven in that little set that I bought. They're very creamy. Add a little more white here. And this is this color blue that, that I had mixed up. It's very dark. I just didn't want to use black, so I thought, oh, a dark blue would be pretty in there.
don't know. I just really have been loving the metallics lately. Finishing up these paints here. This cup I'm using today is a new purchase. Um, I got it on Amazon. Um, it's made from the same company that makes the OXO um, spatula that we all like to use, or a lot of the artists like to use. And it came in a set of three. This is the one cup measuring cup. And you get a two cup and then a half a cup. Also silicone. So you can use it for painting, for, for your paints, and um, resining. And your resin would come right out of the cup. It's very nice. Nice product. It's the OXO churning spatula is is the one that I'm talking about that a lot of the artists use to spread their paint. And this is the last color here. The gold. Okay everything out of the way here and I am going to put a little mound of paint here in the center to to start my pour Very pretty coming out. And the copper there. Okay. Just going to 
going to take my skewer here and work with that last little bit there. I think I will torch just a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to lay down a little more of this white paint with the enamel in it. Okay, and we'll do some tipping now. And I'll bring it back to the middle here. Always a good idea to do that. And get this corner over here. this far corner here. I'll bring it back to the middle again. And bring it back. And just take a look at it. I love this up in here. That purple is coming through and it's so pretty. tip down this way and bring it back and a little bit this way first I'll do this way I think this this our edge over here and bring it back. Take another look at it. Do a little more tipping this way.
and bring it back. Just kind of stretch this out just a little bit here. And bring it back. Just a little bit down at this end. And bring it back. Okay, I'm going to take a look at it now. Just going to tip on this corner just a little bit here. And bring that back. Yeah, that's, I really like that. Very pretty. Okay. I think I like that. I love the faded look of this this uh, copper in here. Maybe just a little bit more tip down in this corner. Just trying to stretch things out just a little bit more here. Bring it back. Okay. That's 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 what I like right there. Okay, and then I'll clean the bottom off here. And I will get you down for a close up. You can tell me what you think. I'm hoping that you'll be able to see just all these different colors popping up here. Just get my corner right here, all in here. Okay, put you down for a close-up now. Hopefully you'll be able to see all this. This is the upper left-hand corner. You can see some of the, sh the shiny coming through there. Like I said, I love, love, love that copper in there. And the purple, streaks of purple in here, very pretty. streak of white there showed up. 
And here's those little cells that I'm going to get, those little white ones popping up from the enamel paint. Very pretty in there, too. I'll take up the middle here. Again, this is very pretty here where that copper came through. In the upper right hand corner. And that purple, I just, I love that purple where it pops up. The lines in here, so defined, so nice. Yeah, right in here, very nice. And then this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you ring the bell. Choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. Until next time, take care everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.